EWTN has officially opened a new office in Northern Europe. And yesterday, a church leader commemorated the event with a procession and mass. Bishop Eric Varden celebrated mass. The newest EWTN office is in Norway, a country where only 3% of the population is Catholic and around seven-tenths of the citizens are Protestant. The Catholic Church's main presence is in the Diocese of Oslo. Joining us now from Norway is Eric Varden, Bishop of Trondheim in central Norway. Your Excellency, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Exciting news, too. Um, wondering how can EWTN serve the church in Norway, a and what are your hopes for this new initiative? Well, I think primarily by um, proclaiming the gospel, by manifesting the richness of the the Catholic Church and the Catholic patrimony, um, the grace of living as a communion in union with Peter, um, and uh, as in, in testimony to charity and truth. Uh, I'm curious, Your Excellency, what is the state of the Catholic Church in Norway right now? Well, I'd say it's a church living joyfully in the hope of God's mercy and um, conscious of the reality of that mercy. It's, um, it's a colorful reality, multi-ethnic, multicultural, with the different rites of the Catholic communion present, with the faithful coming from many different languages, um, and yet experiencing that great unity in the communion of the church. And I think being very grateful to be living within that communion. And what about the trend in the country, um, the relationship between young people and the Catholic faith? Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, obviously, it's, I mean, I think it's a global challenge anywhere, you know, the transmission of faith to the young. And sometimes one hears, uh, you know, statements of despair at the state of the young. I must say that's a, that's a sentiment I don't share at all. I meet so many young people full of high aspirations and full of courage and um, really seeking, seeking for the truth and seeking for real fellowship. Uh, when here in Trondheim these days for the festival of St. Olaf, we've received, uh, you know, large crowds of young people, many of them who've walked as pilgrims for days in order to get here and really forming, uh, giving a, a, a great testimony to the authenticity of their, church, of their search and their commitment. So I'd say I'm full of hope. And Your Excellency, before I let you go, um, anything that you would like to share with our viewers about St. Olaf? Well, something which is extremely poignant to me and I think to all of us this year is the remembrance that when Olaf returned to Norway to fight in the battle at Stiklestein, which he died in 1030, he came here straight from Kiev, where he had been living as a guest of his friend and kinsman, um, Prince Yaroslav. And the fact that we remember that strong historical link between the Ukraine and our nations, the, you know, the, 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 the princedom of Kiev, um, the fact that we had during our Mass of St. Olaf in the cathedral now the participation of the Kiev chamber choir um, is a wonderful affirmation of that unity in faith and really an occasion to invoke the prayers of the saint for peace and justice in that much tried country. Well, Your Excellency, thank you for speaking with us today and congratulations again on the EWTN office in Norway. God bless you.